a powerful fiend stands in Kuan's way. No mere cat can hope to defeat it. However, whether by fate or by sheer determination of will, Kuan possesses the ability to absorb a portion of a fiend's power. Repeat this process until Kuan has absorbed enough power, allowing her... comes where you find yourself lost and unable to make it back home. Please, don't give up. Stay strong. Keep hope in your heart, no matter what. I promise I'll find you, even if I have to search far and wide. So please, don't forget me. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be making heartfelt speeches to a cat. get in my way. I must return home. Return home to them. Will they recognize me, though? They've changed quite a bit since then. No, I'm sure they will. They had nothing but love for me. They'll pet me like they always did. Everything that happened is my fault. My ears are in pain because I never listened to them properly. My feet stopped moving because I always caused a ruckus with my thumping. I lost my sight because I turned a blind eye to the truth. It's all my fault. All of it. But in spite of my faults, they would always pet me. Everything they did was a way of expressing their love. They're waiting for me back home. I'm sure of it. This has to be a test. A way to prove the love shared between us. Why are you staring at me like that? Is there something you'd like to say? Are you trying to imply that their love for me is warped? That my love for them is wrong? Just what is your problem? There's no doubt that they love me. I'm going home, no matter what it takes. I need to overcome this trial of love. Don't get in my way! Oh, <laughs> 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 
haven't come across a single creature worth eating yet. They all taste awful! Where's the fun in that? You ever had a taste of a human before? That's what I call eating good. They pack a real crunch, you know? Eating too many of them kinda came back to bite me, though. Now it's all coming back. I ate, and I ate, and I ate! Right until they came back to kill me. Man, that really ticks me off. <sighs> I want another taste. This new body's real convenient, you know? I can swim wherever I want with it. Sea, land, sky, anywhere! How'd I end up like this, though? Was it because I ate so many humans? I bet I'd be able to eat tons of them if I returned to the real world with this body! Yeah. I'm gonna dish this place and go back! I'm sick of the food here! I wanna eat more humans! You look like you'd be pretty tasty, too. Not much meat on you, I guess, but it'll do. Mind letting me have a little... Fight! Don't blame me if I gobble you right up, though! must be a cat by the looks of it. I'm Locke, pleased to meet you. Oh, let me guess, you're trying to get back to the real world, right? Same here, talk about coincidence. Sure feels like I've come a long way. I gotta go home quick. I'm sure my owner's worried sick. They're super important to me. That's the same for you, right? Hmm, I guess not. Cats sure are weird, but oh well. Too bad, though. I'm first in line to open the boundary and go home. Who decided? Me! No one's gotta go back more than I do. Sorry, but it'd be great if you could sit back for me. 
It's like my owner always says. Stay. Yours says the same, right? <laughs> It'd be nice if you spoke. I want to have a conversation. I kind of ended up with this body before I realized it, but now I can understand all the creatures here, except they just want to fight anyway. But I haven't lost a fight yet, all thanks to the special power this body gave me. I bet I can talk lots and lots with my owner now. Would they be happy about that? I'm so excited. I gotta get home right away. Oh well, I'm first in line, so you're gonna stay for me, right? You won't? I guess cats don't know how to stay. Then we're just gonna have to fight. That's the easiest way to decide this. Let's go!
Violent! Hmm, I don't want to risk getting hurt here and not be able to go back home. So I'm gonna call it quits. I didn't lose though. We still haven't settled anything. Today's walk is over. That's all. Kuon and Lock. Two similar yet intrinsically different beings. Their paths may cross once again, but what of their ultimate destination? Oh, how exciting. Imitations are spot on, right? Ah, oh, but that ain't the only amazing thing about me. I used to be a regular old bird, you know? But everything changed when I got this body! Now my imitations turn into reality! You got an earful on the way here, right? Ho 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 ho! Super exciting stuff! Oh, excitement's what it's all about! I ain't even care about the real world anymore. I'm gonna have a blast anywhere I go, so long as my voice has got this kind of power. <sighs> How about you? You having as much of a blast as I am? <sighs> Yo, what's the deal? You from Dollsville or something? Huh, guess there's only one reason for someone as lame as you to come all the way down here. It's cause my voice is just to die for, ain't it? Literally!
away. Not another monster. Oh, I hate this place so much. There's monsters out to get me wherever I run. Why do you have to chase me all the way here? I didn't do anything to deserve this. Actually, but that's not true. I did kill myself. I know I'm the worst throwing my life away like that, but but even still, this is too much. Say something, will you? I think I'm starting to understand what you monsters are saying, and it's just terrible. Come on! Can't you at least tell me why you want to kill me? What's with this body of mine? Why do I look like you monsters now? Why do I understand what you're all saying? What does it matter if there's a way back to the real world? There's no way I can return looking like this. I'd never make it either. I mean, I'm just... Just... Huh? What was I in the first place? <laughs> it's over. I don't even remember who or what I was anymore. Whatever. Do your thing, monster. Kill me. I don't have it in me to live like this. If I can't go back home, then I'm better off dead. Just kill me already!
You're here for my Imperial Anima, aren't you? Let me guess. A little bird tipped you off about using all four of them to open up the boundary to the real world. You're not the only one that died and got sent to the Soul Plane, kid. Hear me out. Is it really worth returning back there? All that's waiting for you is more suffering. There's no peace or tranquility. No excitement or stimulation, just an endless, empty struggle. And there's nothing I hate more than that. It just wears you down, both physically and mentally. This place is no paradise, but I gotta say, it's pretty peaceful after you get stronger than everybody else. Well, that's if I ignore the effort required to deal with the nuisances that sometimes wander in here trying to step up. Visitors like you, though, now that's a different story. We're cut from the same cloth, since you're strong enough to make it here. I'm gonna make you a deal here, as a fellow feline. If peace and quiet is your thing, stick with me here, in the Soul Plane. In return, though, I'd like you to deal with some... No, half. Actually, make it most of the trouble that comes my way. That'd be great. How about it? <laughs> Looks like you're dead set. Guess I had the wrong idea about you. Or maybe we were just too different from the outset. Either way, that makes you just another pesky target. I'll tear that feeble body and spirit of yours apart!
might you be? I don't appreciate the silent treatment. Though I do respect the fact that you made it all the way up here. And I know why you did. You're here to lay your paws all over my delicate parts, aren't you? I guess not, which means you're here for my Imperial Anima figures. Tisk. Allow me to ask, what exactly do you think an Imperial Anima is? It's a soul. My soul. I would perish without it. If I've made myself clear, then please leave. It's almost time for my siesta. Let me tell you something interesting about the Imperial Anima that we of the Quaternary possess. Their power seems to stem from a certain spiritual energy, one of another world entirely. One could call it a desire, or a creed, perhaps. In simpler terms, you're out of your depth. I can shatter you to pieces in an instant. So tell me, what is it that drives you? What compels you to challenge me in spite of that? Whatever it may be, I doubt it's worth losing what's left of your life. Or perhaps that's precisely why you can't afford to back down. Leave, you'll be much better off for it. <sighs> oh, whoa. Would you at least have the decency to respond? Conversations are supposed to go two ways. Ah, fine. If you refuse to leave, then you leave me no choice but to brutalize you.
Goodness me. How utterly revolting. Whatever possessed a slimy, mangy cat of your ilk to enter these pure holy grounds? Oh, you're a germ-infested pest! Are you trying to spread disease to my beautiful, delicate children? Dear, oh dear, oh me. You could at least have the decency to respond. Where does filth like you crop up from, I wonder? This is awful, dreadful, abhorrent. I can't even feast on you out of fear of being left disease-ridden. Oh. You poor, disgusting little thing. The least I can do is crush you so hard into the ground that the parasites can feast on you. Yeah. Ah. Ooh. 
four Imperial souls have been obtained. The seal on the boundary has now been undone. This is your one path back to the real world. Make your way through it before exhausting all nine of your lives. Stay! I know you're going back to the real world. How? Because I've been watching you. But I want to go back too, no matter what. I'll say it again. I want to go back, no matter what. I'd be super grateful if you let me switch places. So come on. I'd just be cutting in line if I beat you in a fight, right? That feels unfair. But you're not leaving me much of a choice. I need to get back home, no matter what. No matter what. <clears throat> What's your deal? Why are you always so silent? I just wanted to know what's going through your head. I figured we were the same. That you'd understand why I want to go back home. But I guess not. What a shame. I need this more than you do. And I'm stronger than you too. There's no way I'll lose. <laughs> yeah. Might equals right. If I win, I'm number one. It's fine to cut in line. Lost probably means you're even more determined to get home than me. You're really amazing, if so. I feel like I finally get you. You really were the same as me at first, but I probably changed somewhere along the way. There was a monster inside me, one birthed here in the soul plane. One that slowly took control of me. I get why you were always so silent now. It's because you didn't want to engage with a monster like me. There's only one explanation for being able to understand and speak to monsters. It's because you've become one of them yourself. <laughs> this is bugging me. That desire to go home is still there. I'm sure it's just as strong as yours. But everything's so hazy now. I can't remember what drove me. Just that it was something really important. Where did I go wrong? How could I have prevented myself from losing sight of what's important? Prevented myself from becoming a monster? <laughs> How about you then? Do you still remember your reason? This hurts. I really did want to go back home.
The first seal on the boundary has been undone. None who seek to impede Kuon's progress remain. Now then, proceed. Continue your journey back to the real world before exhausting all nine of your lives. I dragged you into the soul plane. Of course, that time pales in comparison to how long I've been a prisoner to this bed of chaos. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first to find yourself in the soul plane. I've watched countless others fight their way through, mostly in vain. For the lucky souls who possessed the strength to make it past the boundary, well, they had the honor of becoming part of my collection. Ah, oh, what fun. Left without a means to set myself free of this place, that is my sole pleasure. I must say though, Kuon, you were truly special. You disposed of the soul beast that stood in your way with utmost finesse. And even better, you made such short work of all four of the Quaternary as well! Much time has passed since I began this little sport of mine. Epochs, eons perhaps. Yet you are one of the esteemed few to make it this far. Tell me, what drives you, Kuon? What compels you to return to the real world so? Seem. How delightful! Now then, this chat of ours has been riveting, but it would be a shame to let your soul fade away into nothing. I'll be taking it for myself. That's always the most thrilling part of this game of mine. Thank you, Kuon. You truly were wonderful. I do hope you keep me entertained until the end. Ha <laughs> ha 
Khan, having overcome all odds in her triumph of the Soul Plane, finally returned home. However, Several decades had already passed upon Kuon's return to the real world. Perhaps the flow of time was different between the Soul Plane and the real world. Perhaps it was the warped influence of Chaos Betwixt. Regardless of the cause, Kuon's owner had long since passed away. No trace of the house they shared remained. Kuon no longer had a place to call home. None can say how much time passed afterward. But one day, after visiting her owner's grave, Kuon disappeared with naught but a trace. It's Kuan as she comes to. A simple survey of her surroundings is all she manages before a yawn lulls her back to sleep. It was as if she was never gone in the first place. Footsteps, ever so familiar, ring from outside the room. Footsteps Kuan knows, but feigns not to. Her owner has returned home. The footsteps stop just a moment, before rushing even closer. Kuon, however, keeps the act up. Things are as they should be. Kuon remains the same cat she always was. At the end of a journey filled with both strife and hope, one life has begun anew. Welcome home, Kuon. 